Hey y'all, this video quality is going to be less than best, but I wanted to send, for those of you who were not able to come to the training yesterday, just a quick overview of what this Saturday is going to look like at Pepper Tree. So thank you for volunteering to serve at Pepper Tree's Happy Birthday Jesus Party. I don't know if that was part of your family's traditions growing up. It's always been a part of my family's and I think it'll be a fun thing to pass on to the kids there. This was not my idea. Um, I wanna be clear, this is Eric's, um, but I'm excited to partner with him in this. So let me just go through our Google Doc. So if you wanna pull that up for access while we walk through it together, um, I'll give you just a second to get that pulled up. So if you could plan to meet at Pepper Tree um, on Saturday at 1125, the reason to meet at 1125 is because we will not have a team meeting beforehand. So immediately when we get there, we'll have to go and set up our areas and team leaders, you'll be the ones to um, go to your room first and be able to instruct your team on how to set up your area. Um, so we're gonna walk through that sheet. Um, kids will arrive at 12, or that's when it starts, and they'll probably arrive a little before 12. Um, so you'll have about 30 minutes to get ready, and that seems like a good long period of time, but it will go by very fast. So arrive at 11.25, and we'll meet in Eric's Red Door apartment. Um, we're hoping that the fire lane is gonna be open, and so we'll pull inside that area to park. Um, we won't park on the fire lane, and we don't want to get in the way of that, but we can park in the grassy area close to Eric's apartment. <clears throat> we'll have three stations that day. First will be a lesson station, and they'll be teaching Emmanuel, God with us. The second station is for crafts, and the third is where the gospel will be shared through the Jesus birthday cake, using the different color layers in the cake um, to share the gospel. So first for the lesson, um, these will all be 20 minute stations. Um, so we'll just rotate kids through every 20 minutes and I'll be the one to go around and let y'all know when to rotate. So please don't rotate until I let you know to rotate um, because it's a lot of kids in a small, small space. And so it's very important that we rotate at the um, appropriate time. So Andrea is the leader for our lesson. She'll be teaching that to the kids. Danielle and Christelle will be helping Andrea with that. Um, Andrea will be giving an invitation to those kids after um, her lesson, and Danielle will be available to help counsel the kids um, after the invitation. And the supplies that you'll need, those are listed, um, but there'll be some different pictures to hang up around your room. Um, so those are gonna be built into um, just your time together. So make sure that that's, that's really the only thing you have to decorate is putting those things around the room. I will say, um, if you're in your area, whether it's lesson or craft, and you get done setting up super fast, if you could head downstairs to Kelsey's area, she has a lot of decorations to put up for the birthday party. So if you could help Kelsey out, that would be great. Then we'll move to the craft station. Um, the craft, you're gonna be making a stable um, using an envelope. And I'm gonna turn and see if I have one here. I did have one that I made. There we go. Um, this is a simplified version, but you'll have um, a verse for the child to put on the outside of the stable. They will put, they will write, God is with me here at the lip of the envelope. And then um, I don't have any rest of it done, but on a different envelope, they will be gluing, instructions are on your car to be much better than this, um, but they'll be gluing a picture of a manger here and then a little baby on the underside flap, but they'll be using an envelope to make their craft. And I'll try to send y'all a picture of that um, beforehand. So all of that, um, so all your supplies are listed in your sheet. Maggie, you're the one leading this craft um, and you will have Angie, Addison, Elizabeth, and Ashley helping you with the kids. There will not be tables in your craft room. There'll also not be tables in the lesson room. Um, so no tables for craft. I think I would have all the kids sit in a circle that might work best, um, but you decide, y'all are pro teachers. You have a lot of teachers in your room, so you'll be in good place. But um, so y'all decide what works best with those kids, but there will be no tables. So that'll be a little interesting. Um, so there, 
is that if you have extra time in craft, which sometimes happen, then you can teach them the Matthew 123 verse that they're gluing on their envelope. Um, so you can just do different games with them while you're practicing that, or you can scroll to the bottom of the document and that will have some review questions um, that you can go over with them. And then the birthday party itself will be downstairs. Kelsey is leading this area um, and then she'll have some helpers in there with her. Um, she has a large amount of supplies. Um, so again, that's gonna be the most needed area if you have free time to go and help her set up for that. Um, we'll have some extra cookies and brownies to serve in case you run out of cake. Um, so Kelsey, I would keep at least um, one slice cut for all of your rotations and that way you don't have to worry about cutting the cake with the kids there, um, though you can do that any way you want to. Um, but if you'll just keep one slice cut just in case you need it, I think that would be helpful. Um, you'll have a lot of banners and different things that you can hang around the room um, to put up there for decorations. Um, your content is posted in the sheet. I know you've done this before, Kelsey, so I'm not gonna walk through that, but um, just follow those notes there and just add your own little things to it. And then you'll give an invitation after you have shared the gospel using the colors of the cake. I would not serve the kids cake at the beginning. Um, you wanna wait until you've gone through the story with them, give the invitation, and then at the end, you'll serve them cake. So as you give the invitation, um, James is gonna be one of your counselors as well as Parker. Um, so they'll be there to help counsel kids. Um, and then once they get their kids moved off to start counseling, um, then you can begin serving cake and then you'll have some helpers serving you. Um, so y'all can serve the cake then. Um, I would go ahead and pre-cut those cakes into about 10 slices per cake, um, just for time's sake. Um, but again, do that however you want to. You can sing happy birthday to Jesus with the cake. Um, we'll have some water bottles there for you as well to give the kids. Um, and then um, you can ask them discussion questions, which are at the bottom of this page while y'all are eating the cake. Um, Parker and James or anybody who ends up counseling kids after the birthday party cake, if you'll just make sure they know they're going to get um, a snack before they leave as well. We don't want them to feel left out when they're talking about the Lord. Um, so just maybe let them know on the front end, hey, we're gonna get your cake to you in just a little bit. Um, we're gonna talk first. Um, so that is that. And then there's also some peppermints um, that you can use, Kelsey, as your kids are getting ready to leave. So have them throw away their plates and cups and all those things. Um, and then hand them out some little peppermints and they have the Christmas story on them. And so just as we have gone to Pepper Tree to share Jesus with them, encourage them to go to school and share Jesus with their friends. Um, so give them stickers, give them those peppermint sticks to hand out to their friends to be able to tell um, the story of Christmas with that. Um, and then lastly, but not leastly, and this is actually why most of the kids will be coming, they will be getting free backpacks. These backpacks do not have school supplies. They have more essential items um, that they need for life. And so um, those are gonna be outside in tents. And Mark Walter is overseeing that. Fasayo V, Caleb, Lilia, and Nicole <coughs> will be helping Mark distributing those backpacks. Um, Eric will give us a little bit of instruction on Saturday um, when we get there as to how that should work. Um, he's not pre-registering anybody like he originally had hoped to. Um, so it'll be, I think, just a first come, first serve. He only has 150 backpacks. Um, so whoever comes will get that. It may be whoever has participated in the day's events are gonna get first dibs at the backpack. I would think that's how that works, but Eric will give us more instruction on that when we get there. Um, other than that, I think that is it. Thank y'all and we'll see you on Saturday.